I am not an atheist because I think atheism is an intellectually vacuous position. I think it's unsophisticated. I don't think it's smart. An atheist, a true atheist, right, someone who is truly an atheist, is a materialist. A materialist believes that literally nothing exists, that nothing can exist beyond my empirical experience of that thing. That, to me, is the height of hubris and absurdity, right? The idea that all that exists is the material realm and nothing beyond it is just, I would say, even scientifically absurd. Now, what is that other thing? Who knows, okay? Just, let's just give it a word because that's all the word God is. It's just a word. It's not a thing. It's a word. And like all words... It has a thousand connotations. It represents a bunch of things. But in its simplest form, let's just say what we mean when we say God is that which is beyond, that which is beyond the material realm, the thing. The question then becomes, can I access that thing? Do I have the ability to commune with it, to communicate with it, to experience it in some way? And that's a personal thing. I've accessed it. I've communicated with it. I've experienced it. People who do yoga, people who climb mountains, people who surf, and yes, people who are Christians or Jews or Muslims or Buddhists or whatever can tell you a very similar story. Yeah, I'm not going to prove this intellectually. All I can tell you is that there is something beyond and I have touched it. I have felt it. So then the next question is, do I want to know it? Was it enough that I climbed that mountain and was like, wow, <sighs> and then I went back home? Or do I want to know it now? Well, if you want to know it, it so happens that there are a, you know, thousands of years worth of systems, languages. That's what really religion is all about. It's just languages. Languages are made up of symbols of, and metaphors that help you experience, communicate that experience, make sense of that experience, and you can pick any language you want. It is irrelevant what language you choose, just different symbols. It's like saying, what's better, French or German? What are you talking about? They're both expressing the exact same thing. Just pick one. The Buddha very famously said, if you want to strike water, you don't dig six one-foot wells. You dig one six-foot well. Islam is my six-foot well. But the important thing that's hidden in, in the Buddha's words there is that the well is irrelevant. The well is nothing more than the means to get to the water. And guess what? The water that you're drinking from is the water that every well is drinking from. So pick a well. Pick a well that works for you. In my case, for a whole host of reasons, my culture, my background, my identity, my comfort, Islam is my six-foot well, and particularly Sufi Islam is my six-foot well. It's the language that I use to make sense of a thing that is inexpressible. It's a, it's a language I use to talk about a thing that's impossible to talk about, and it's a language that other people understand, so I can communicate with them. They get it. We can talk about that experience. But to say that I believe in the well is stupid. People who say, I believe in Christianity, I believe in Islam, I believe in the Quran, I believe in the Torah, are doing it wrong. Those are not things to believe in. They're your well. They're the thing that points you to the thing to believe in. And so... As someone who wants a deep and meaningful spiritual life, uh, who has experienced transcendence and wants to experience it more and understand it more, I've chosen this particular well.